two flights and 13 hours later, I landed at this bucket list destination. Home to the Great Barrier Reef and the wet tropics rainforest. Two UNESCO heritage sites located in one place. Hey everyone, this is Preeti and good morning from Cairns in Australia. <laughs> Oh, well, I got here last night. I mean, in the evening and the sun had already set. It was really dark. I had to just get settled. So I just made it to my hostel and just kind of uh, laid in and also tried to be jet lagged by going to sleep early. Australia is like, again, like four and a half hours ahead of India. This morning, I'm running for a tubing tour. Pickup is at 7.50. It's already 7.48. So I'm just going to the stop where they're going to pick me up. I'm just going to go and see if I'm making it in time for my bus. So we have arrived to the spot where we're going to start our tubing tour. We're going to be tubing on the river Mulgrave today. It's in Gordon Vale. It's about 45 minutes, about 40, 45 minutes from Cairns with all of the pickups. So I think uh, may have taken lesser, but yeah, it was a nice relaxed ride. Very beautiful, very scenic. We're getting kitted up in our helmets and we have to wear life jackets compulsively on this and also close shoes with a back strap. Now I don't have one of those, so I was able to rent it out for $5 over here at the tour itself. But the helmets and the life jackets are included. So yeah, this looks exciting and I can't wait. So we've been given a safety briefing and we're just kind of going with the plan and we're all just gonna jump in right now. Tubing is really, really fun. We started gliding down the river, using our hands to paddle occasionally and enjoying the beautiful rainforest all around us. It starts off calm enough with a simple glide and flow, but then the rapids hit and it really picks up. There were these bursts of rapids in between where it was really exciting. Like a lot of people actually just capsized and turned over like their tubes capsized. They didn't. But <laughs> it was fun. Like overall it was really fun. There were always people from the team who were there to make sure you're okay. If you need towing or if you need to be pulled out, you need help. That's why I think it's also like a low intensity activity that's great for every age. Like literally there are kids here and there are like much older people as well. So it's actually a very chill kind of activity to do. Uh, at whatever fitness level you're at. So yeah, something I would definitely recommend if you want to experience the rainforest here in Cairns in Australia. Uh, I came with this company called Cairns Adventure Group. That's the bus right behind me. They're basically an umbrella brand with a bunch of other companies that does river rafting and uh, like on different rivers and tubing and a lot of other adventures into the Daintree rainforest as well. It was done. It was a lot of fun and like it's just a half day thing so I'm already back in Cairns and they dropped me off exactly where they picked me off, picked me up, which is like literally five minutes walking from my hostel. I'm gonna head back, take a quick shower and then I think the rest of the day today I'm just gonna sort out like basic things like fixing my SIM card and seeing if I need to withdraw some cash and then I'll figure out the rest of my stay and I will show you around. This is the hostel that I'm staying at. It's called Mad Monkey Backpackers. They have three of them in Cairns. I'm staying at Mad Monkey Central. Hi. So I did get back to my hostel. I rested up a little bit and then I stepped out to sort out my SIM work. It's finally sorted and I have a functioning phone now. Uh, since I'm here for about 20 odd days, I've taken a 28 day plan with 20 GB. They give like 20 GB extra free with that. So like I have way more data than I thought I would need. I've taken a Telstra SIM, which is a pretty popular operator here in Australia. And it pretty much works everywhere. So that is an option that you could definitely consider. This is the Esplanade area, which is like the most popular area in uh, Cairns. Like it's also very touristy. It is also where everything happens. Cairns is the gateway to the Great Barrier Reef. It is home to two uh, UNESCO World Heritage Sites. One is the Great Barrier Reef and another is the Daintree Rainforest. So it's pretty cool to be here and to be experiencing two epic natural wonders. I'm here at the Esplanade Lagoon, which is basically a huge public pool. This place is so organized, it even has personal lockers for hire and like washrooms you can change in.
it's a brand new morning in Cairns and I am on a boat. This morning was so fast and I didn't know what to expect. So I was just like, okay, let's just wait till I know what's happening. So I'm basically going to be spending a night on the Great Barrier Reef. I can't believe it. It's a national wonder that I've been wanting to explore for ever. And now that I'm a certified diver, I can actually make that dream happen. And I am. So there is this company called Divers Den, they are a dive school and they also operate liverboards that offer diving on the Great Barrier Reef. They take you to some really beautiful sites in the outer reef area and show you so many corals and green life. And if you're a certified diver, then this is an absolute must do. This is my room. Sorry, I've left my shorts to dry, they got wet. It's a really nice bed. Some cupboards, they've given extra blankets. Oops. Ships moving. There's an ensuite bathroom. Oops. So this is my room. I'm gonna be staying here for one night. The liverboard. Uh, they have, I think, about five to six nights as well. So what happens is you can choose how many days and nights you want to spend, and they arrange the trip accordingly. So you can actually spend one night, two nights, three nights, however you want to do it. And I think that's really nice. Also, this is like my first ever liverboard experience. So I feel like this is a nice initiation into understanding what it's like. I also tend to get really seasick. So keep those pills handy. They also have natural ginger tablets on board just in case your stomach needs to be settled a little bit. Look at that, you can see the ocean from here. So there are two deck areas on the liverboard. This is where everybody chills in downtime between dives. Really cool. Um, I don't want to call them bean bags. I don't know what they are, but you can just kind of like lie in on them and relax. So the team gives a safety briefing when we get onto the liverboard. This basically includes all of the rules, the do's and don'ts, the whole schedule, structure of how things actually work on the liverboard. And it's very different to how you would normally go on a dive trip. So listening to it actually makes a lot of sense because. There are so many things about how this whole thing works that I had no idea about and it's really really helpful right now. So we just got done with lunch. Lunch is actually really nice. There's like a huge salad bowl with like lots of vegetables, boiled pasta and then there was I think it was a chicken kind of a sauce and then there was also a vegan option with vegan cheese. I don't eat chicken so like this was perfect for me because it was also pretty nice like it tasted really nice. I had a little time before the next dive so I decided to chill on the deck for a bit. This was honestly such a stunning dive site. Like it's called Cold Garden. It's on Saxon Reef, and it is a coral garden in the truest sense of the word. So many, so many different types of corals. All these vibrant colors. I'm really happy with this dive. Well, also this was my first ever unguided dive. Like I just went with a buddy, and uh, we found our way back. So I think we can call it a success. We got a personalized lasagna dish. Mine was vegan and it was delicious. And the salad that came with it, super fresh. It's about 6.30, the sun has set, the colours are looking gorgeous and it is time for a night dive. So there are three things that you can do on the boat, uh, on the liverboard. One is a night dive. One is you can lie down on the extended platform and look at sharks in the dark. And the third one is a fluoro dive which is all sorts of crazy marine life seen under UV light so they actually glow in the dark. I'm really keen on the night dive because I kind of want to see if we can bump into a shark. So we're just going to head for that. Just had the briefing. I'm just hoping this is going to be a good one. A night dive starts around sunset and along with the regular equipment, each diver is given two torches, a primary and a backup just in case something happens to the first one. We grab our equipment and down we go. Seeing the reef and sea creatures in the dark is a beautiful, beautiful experience. It comes alive and is like no other. So the 
night dive was so nice. It was so cool. We saw so many sharks. We saw uh, so many fish. I think there were groupers just like flitting about. It was so fast. It just like bumped into me, and I was like, "Oh, what happened?" Yeah, so it was really, really interesting. Saw lots of cool action. We even saw a turtle. It was so pretty. Oh my god! And I feel like I really enjoy night diving. It's such a different experience. Wow, it's been a long day, but it's been such a fulfilling one. We had dinner. Uh, I mean, we had dessert, but it was a really yummy. Uh, I think it was a marshmallow with some passion fruit with a chocolate mousse and a slice of kiwi. So very exotic. And these guys really, really make an effort with the food and everything as well. And it was so good. Going to pass out now. But like 6:45 because they come to check. Like they had to check off earlier on the manifest. So about 6:45 is when I was woken up, and then I was just like, I can't. I just need to sleep. I just need to sleep. But I got ready. Breakfast was at uh, 7:15, so just about 8 something. I have a couple of dives today in the morning. The briefing is going to start in a few minutes, and I'm going to head out. And I'm excited because we we'll move to a different site this time. They'll tell us more about it when we get to the deck. And uh, yeah, a little more diving today before I head back to Cairns. First day of the day is done. Beautiful reefs, stunning, and we're all back here for some downtime. Just gonna line for a bit and chill till our second one. Done with my dives over here. The second dive of the day is the last one for those checking out, and I'm checking out today. Oh, it's been so nice. I've really enjoyed this experience. I've loved diving back to back. It's been insane. Wow, I've met some really nice people too. First time going unguided. First time going with buddies. I don't know. Uh, yeah, I mean like a different buddy every time. So it's been really, really nice. The experience has been great. The hospitality on board, uh, Ocean Quest has been fantastic. The food has been delicious. Like I really love all the meals because they make it with so much care, and it's just really, really nice. <laughs> I have to say goodbye already. I have not had enough, but I'm pretty sure I'm going to be back on a little board soon. Diving on the Great Barrier Reef, staying on the Great Barrier Reef has been a pretty insane experience. Oh my god I think the first few days that I had here in Kent have been absolutely amazing I've had a chance to experience the rainforest as well as the great barrier reef in such unique ways that brings me to the end of the first vlog from Queensland Australia we're done with Kent part 1 but there's more of Kent to go I'm wrapping up this video because I'm also starting a new project in my next video you're going to see me traveling across some of the islands over here and going on some really epic adventures as well And I really hope you're around for the journey. For now, if you like this video, hit like, subscribe to my channel, leave me a comment, share this video with your friends, get everyone to follow me. <laughs> I will see you very, very soon in a brand new video from a very cool place. I'm in a very different place now. Um, see you. Bye.